Thank you very much. Uh, I come to speak on behalf of the northeast of England, not just uh, Newcastle Airport. Um, we as a region are very, very focused on what is right for our regional economy and uh, the future um, of all of the people in the region and what will be in their best interest. So um, if I could have the next slide, please. Yeah, the airport is very much embedded within the, um, the, the fabric of the northeast. Um, not just by its location, but also as a result of its ownership structure. Um, it is a public-private partnership between seven local authorities, and they are the seven that have now formed a combined authority, and AMP Capital of Australia. Um, and uh, we like to think of ourselves as the uh, international gateway airport for the, uh, for the North East. Um, why do we have such comprehensive support? And it's not just the, uh, the, uh, the local authorities, but also uh, business organisations such as the North East Chamber of Commerce and uh, inbound tourism organisations, etc. Why are they so much um, in favour of, of, of the airport? Well, it's because of its economic impact. Um, it is one of the biggest employment sites in the region um, and it has the potential to be even more important in the future. Um, and you could echo that story in a number of different regions around the UK, you know, where an airport is absolutely crucial um, to the future well-being of that regional economy um, as a result of the connectivity that it, uh, that it delivers. Um, just very, very quickly, uh, the, the two long-haul routes have been, uh, have been mentioned, so my, my thunder has been stolen a couple of times already, but... Uh, yeah, we have punched above our weight as a, as a region to secure um, an Emirates service alongside a number of other um, regions uh, in the UK. And Emirates, you know, particularly good at serving um, the UK regional market. And it's been a game changer. You know, people have been using the, uh, the expression game changer quite a lot over the, over the last few weeks, but it has had a massive impact since it started in 2007. Um, and there's just two figures that... Uh, uh, demonstrate how beneficial it's been. One relating to trade between the North East and Australasia um, and then perhaps even more spectacular the change in uh, freight that's travelled through Newcastle Airport in the period where quite frankly we were also RANS uh, before the Emirates service started and now um, we're uh, exporting over a quarter of a billion pounds worth of freight every year and actually that figure um, for 2014 will be even will be even higher so it is, has been genuinely a game changer and we hope that we will begin to emulate the same pattern um, as Emirates uh, in a westbound direction with uh, a United Airlines service um, to New York starting next summer and it's um, it's been a long hard battle in order to secure that service so we are a great example as a region and as a regional airport um, of perhaps somewhere that's a little bit smaller than the likes of Manchester, you know, Edinburgh, etc., um, where we have secured um, long-haul um, services. And, uh, you know, we like to think we've punched our, above our weight to, to achieve that. But the, cru the crucial point, and the point has been made very, very well um, earlier on, is that these services are connecting into hubs. Um, so, you know, they are very eye-catching, they've been, uh, Emirates has been transformational for our uh, regional economy, hopefully um, United will be as well, but Dubai is a hub and so is Newark. Um, and uh, in fact, they're complementing what we've already got, um, you know, a good selection of, of hub services to the likes of Amsterdam, Paris, Dublin, increasingly Dublin, uh, Brussels, Copenhagen, and of course, the biggest hub of all, um, serving the northeast, which is uh, Heathrow Airport, um, we will uh, accommodate just over four and a half million passengers this year um, as a regional airport, and half a million of those passengers are travelling to and from Heathrow, six or seven flights a day. Fifty-one point eight percent of the customers are transferring at Heathrow, so by a significant margin, Heathrow is the most in Important hub serving the uh, the northeast market, um, and again, we are very much uh, you know an, an example of a region, uh, but you could give other examples: Scotland, Northern Ireland, um, you know other other parts of the of the north of England, um, where Heathrow plays that role. 
Um, so we, uh, you know, alongside other regional airports, have been able to demonstrate that we can deliver long haul, um, but a lot of that long haul traffic, as has been said before, is connecting into hubs that just happen to be further away um, and away from uh, the UK and Europe. So we support uh, the uh, work of the Airports Commission. Um, we've got great faith in the process and the way in which it's been um, carried out so far. Um, we're supportive of the provision of additional runway capacity in the southeast, and we strongly support a world-class hub uh, in the UK. Um, you know, there's an expression: "Don't put your eggs in all your eggs in one basket." But our view is we shouldn't be putting all of our eggs in other countries' baskets. We need something. Uh, in the UK um, that we at least have um, some influence over in the future um, and therefore Heathrow is the best and most viable option uh, in our view. Um, the work that the Airports Commission has published very recently demonstrates that there is a big difference in the benefits to the UK and particularly the regions outside of London and the South East uh, in terms of economic benefits and jobs um, between the Heathrow option uh, the Heathrow options and the Gatwick option, um, and that is no surprise to us. Um, so, you know, moving forward, we encourage all political parties um, to uh, look very carefully at the recommendation that the, um, the Commission make um, and uh, make a quick decision uh, following next year's general election. Um, there's clearly some issues. Uh, that need to be addressed as, as part of this process. Uh, we very much welcome the, the um, appointment of Lord Shipley um, to look into how the um, expansion of a UK hub can benefit the regions. Um, our view is it needs to be providing additional capacity in order to accommodate um, economically and commercially viable services. Um, we need, as a country to ensure that expansion of the hub doesn't come uh, at the expense of affordable airport charges um, and clearly that is an issue that um, people will be looking at um, in, the, in the coming months um, and we, we would ask the, um, the Shipley Commission and indeed you know, future decision makers on this issue to look at whether planning conditions um, on a new runway can um, deliver the um, certainty for regions that are benefiting from that connectivity um, in the future. Thank you for your time. <laughs>